round one. Greetings everyone and welcome back. Here's something fun. The Pi 1000. The newly created Raspberry Pi 400 DIY alternative. A portable keyboard computer that combines a Raspberry Pi setup with a keyboard. Here we are utilizing the new PCIe M.2 shield coupled with the NVMe SSD and Raspberry Pi 5 4GB version. Our version like the Raspberry Pi 400 has a whole Raspberry Pi setup packed inside a keyboard. It takes 5 to 6 seconds for the setup to boot to the desktop, which is incredibly quick thanks to the new Raspberry 5 paired with the NVMe SSD. Here we are using Gen 3 SSD that supports PCIe Express 3.1 and can provide read-write speeds up to 1600 to 1100 Mbps. In this project, we are utilizing the 4GB version of Raspberry Pi, which has a new Broadcom BCM2712 2.4GHz quad-core 64-bit ARM Cortex A76 CPU with LPDDR4X4267 SD RAM, available in 1GB to 8GB models. It also features a Video Core 7 GPU, which is great if you are watching 4K videos or emulating anything on the Pi 5. The exciting part here is the new Raspberry Pi 5 has a PCIe 2.0 X1 interface, so we can finally use custom adapter to connect devices to the Pi, such as SSDs or even GPUs. We got an official Raspberry Pi M.2 hat in addition to the Raspberry Pi 5 and it supports M key SSDs in 2230 and 2242 form factor. But since we already had a full size 2280 SSD, we created an adapter that mount to the existing hat and extend it so that the 2280 SSD can be attached. We added an Ant Sport 690 Neo Pro M.2 NVMe PCIe 3x4 SSD which is a Gen 3 SSD and can provide read-write speeds of 1600 to 1100 MB per second. The Raspberry Pi OS was first installed on the NVMe by following the wonderful Getting Started guide by Jeff Keerling. We have added a custom volume knob controller which was also created from scratch using the Seed Xiao Sam D21 microcontroller and uses the HID protocol to control the system volume. The volume knob PCBs were sent to Seed Studios Fusion for samples and received within a week and the quality was super good considering the price which was pretty low. Seed Fusion offers one-stop prototyping for PCB manufacturing and PCB assembly and as a result they produce superior quality PCBs and fast turnkey PCB assembly within 7 working days. Here the Raspberry Pi 5 is directly connected to the keyboard which also has a customized volume control PCB that make use of an Xiao SAMD21 microcontroller. Regarding the proper build guide for this project, we have created an in-depth guide that you can check out. The link is provided in the video description. We installed and ran Geekbench 6 on our Raspberry Pi 5, so we could see a general overview of our Raspberry Pi 5 NVMe setup. We use Pi apps to install Geekbench, which is an app store with app optimized and configured for Pi. You can install Pi apps from this script. Geekbench 6 was installed and then ran in terminal. We obtained some interesting data after running it for a while, which consisted of single core score of 824 and a multi core score of 1836. The score was alright, as this is just a low power single boot computer. While our Pi ARM's V8 processor only has one core and four threads, the Intel i9-13900KS receive a single core score of 3106 and a multi-score of 21816. This is because the i9 is a 24 core, 34 threaded CPU. The Red X Rock 5A, an ARM V8 based SBC with one core and eight threads 
has a single score of 878 and multi score of 3082. When comparing chips with the same specification, this is somewhat better than Raspberry Pi 5 in single core score and quite a bit better in multi core. We installed and ran the Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Pi 5 and it was running at constant 60 to 65 FPS. Considering that we are running this game on a single board ARM based computer, it was operating incredibly smooth and pretty well. The Minecraft experience was excellent due to the game's overall quickness and fluid frame rate. No. No. We use the Pi apps to install the PPSSPP emulator after playing Minecraft. We then launch Tekken 6 in the emulator and play it non-stop for an hour due to how smoothly it worked. We connected our Xbox controller to the Pi so we could use the PPSSPP emulator to play games. Although there was a problem connecting the controller by Bluetooth but we were able to connect it by using a USB cable instead. Ultimately, we launched Chrome, played a 4K YouTube video and verify that the CPU utilization is less than 20%. The video core 7 GPU on the Raspberry Pi 5 is more advanced and offer better 3D graphics performance. The outcome of our project is a functional Pi 5 based PC encased inside a keyboard. If you are interested in Pi related projects, do check out my previous work. Thanks to Seed Studio Fusion for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service and stencil service for less cost and great quality. And I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.